Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Fellow. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will discuss about Einstein for developers. Yes guys, finally Salesforce launched their own AI tool, which can help developers to write code in Salesforce specific languages. Though as of now it is in beta version and can only help us to generate code in Apex. But we can start using it and maybe in future releases, it is start working for LWC and others as well. All right. So let's start and see what is Einstein for developers. Einstein for developers is a generative AI coding tool which built specifically to generate code for Salesforce specific coding languages such as Apex. And Einstein for developers is built on the Salesforce platform. This means it is quite familiar with Salesforce environment and can easily access org metadata and code. So due to that, it can give us recommendation based on our existing code and it is available as VS Code extension, which means now we can install it in VS Code and start generating code directly in VS Code without going to browser. And I have seen many companies doesn't allow to use GPT tools due to security like chat GPT. So it's a good news for those developers as well. Now they can generate Apex code from VS Code itself. And as I said, in initial version, it can only support Apex or we can say it can only generate code in Apex. LWC and other Salesforce programming languages are not supported as of now, but I'm sure in future, it is start supporting others as well. All right. Now let's see how to set up this tool in our VS code or how to get started with it. First step is to install Einstein for developers extension in VS code. So let's open our VS code. And here I already opened a SFDS project. Now, if you want to install a new extension, then let's click on this extension icon. And here, let's find Einstein for developers. This is the Einstein for developers extension, which built by Salesforce. In my VS code, I have already installed it. So I can see uninstall button here. But in your case, you will see a install button here. So to install this plugin, you have to click on that button. Okay. Next step, we have connect our org with VS code. So I have already connected my org with VS code, but if you're not connected, then select this authorize an org option and provide username and password to connect your org with VS code. Okay. Next step, we have Einstein for developers enable in org. So this option is available in our org. Let's find here in setup home. So once you'll enter Einstein for developers here, then you can see this option. In my case, I have already enabled it, but by default it will not enable. So you have to enable this switch. Then we are good to use Einstein for developers in our VS code. So in nutshell, we just need to install extension in VS code and how to enable Einstein for developers option in org. Okay. Now, after completing all these steps, we are good to use this plugin. So let's open our VS code again and see how to use this plugin. After completing setup, you will see a new icon here in left side that is called Einstein sidebar. If it is not there in your VS code, after completing all the steps as well, then you have to restart VS code and once we will click on this, then we can see here a large text area with two buttons. Here in this text area, we can enter our requirement or prompt in natural language. And once click on this ask button, then it will process our prompt and generate output. For demo purpose, I have some scenarios. So let's practically see what it will generate for a given prompt. In first scenario, we will ask to generate an Apex method. And this will be our prompt. So let's try it here. Let me paste that prompt and click on ask button. All right. Now we can see generated code here. We can see here a add method is created, which takes two integer as input parameters and returning some of these parameters. Okay. Now as a next scenario, let's generate text class for given code. For example, Let's try to create test class for this generated code. So let's copy it and type here 
generate test class for below code all right we can see text class generated here okay so this is how we can generate and use code for a given requirement now let me show you another way how we can directly write code in apex class or trigger so for that we have to open that class or trigger here i don't have any class or trigger created so let's create a new trigger and try here let's open command prompt window and type generate code then you can see a einstein generate code command here so select this one so here we have to provide our prompt i mean here we have to provide our requirement what we want to generate in this class or trigger so let's try with our next scenario that is to generate apex trigger and as per this scenario create an apex trigger to create default contact record with each account so let's try this here let's remove this default code and paste our prompt here and press enter now you can see querying einstein for developers all right now we can see code has generated and also you can see three buttons here accept try again and clear so let's click on accept okay so at cursor position it will insert generated code now we have seen two ways to use einstein for developers in vs code first is using einstein sidebar and another is using command okay now as a next scenario let's try to generate beige class and here our requirement is create an beige class to inactive all the accounts which are created before three months so let's try this and use this sidebar all right code has been generated for beige class so this is how we can use this tool to generate at least basic code structure and it may give you wrong output like here you can see in select query we are not fetching ejective field but still we are using it here to update status so this kind of mistakes we may found in generated code and i think as a developer we should always test generated code before use it anywhere okay now if you want to see history of generated responses then you can find a history tab in terminal window here if you are not able to find then let's open command prompt window again and select this show prompt history option as of now i can't see any response here but let me try again and see okay so here in this history and feedback tab you will find all the prompt requests with response and if you want to see full response then you can click here and see whole generated response okay a quick note here that this tool use generative ai which can produce inaccurate or harmful responses so as a developer before using any generated code we should always test it properly okay so that's it in this video where we have seen what is einstein for developers how we can set up it in our vs code and also we have generated code for some scenarios if you like this video then please hit on like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching i will see you in next video